you sleep. ever have an oh my god moment though? Because we saw that Gino was mic'd up, <laughs> and you see ninety nine coming through, and I said basically the dude's a grizzly in pads, but he goes oh my god. So what was the worst situation that you can remember with maybe a name player? Yeah, when when they were they had that straight shot at you. Oh, it was dear God, I just got killed. So <laughs> Gino got rid of the ball. I did not. So we were playing in one of my rare starts in the NFL. We were playing the Broncos. Uh, Mike Shanahan, head coach. Bill Romanowski, linebacker. Mm. Um, John Mobley. Yeah, it wasn't gold. It was Mobley, the other linebacker that was like a 4'4", 215-pound present-day linebacker, just absolutely lightning fast. And we run empty all go. And we put it in that week, and Holmgren's like very clearly to me, listen, we're going to go all go. It's what you do best. I throw the deep ball. But if they bring somebody, you've got to make a play, and you got to get rid of the ball. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, uh, it's good. So we had like the, I don't know, our own 10-yard line, 12-yard line, empty all go. I can't wait. And I'm looking at it. I'm trying to play cool. It's like my second start, third year in the NFL, second year. Who were your skating. big receivers then? Oh, buddy, it was a rebuilding year. It was not. Okay. You know, was <laughs> Sean, uh, Derek May, great guy, just awesome teammate. Uh, Sean Dawkins, after he bounced around a few places, it was a rebuild year. Okay, okay. And, uh, and no side on them, this was my fault. And I'm trying to look at you know Bill Romanowski's bluff and blitz, and I'm like, okay, he's coming, right? So he's coming. So I'm not going to acknowledge him, because if I do, then maybe we turn protection. I know I got to get rid of the ball, so take the snap. I go to throw a little hot Romanowski drops off. And before I can do anything, I hear the whole crowd go. <gasps> and John Mobley comes from the blind side on probably a 15 yard head start from the other direction and lifts me 15 feet in the air. I mean, absolutely. Like from the eight yard line, I think I landed the three. I, I, uh, it was not an, oh my God, it was upon impact. It was truly, dear God, may I still live? May, may Can I still, we still find that on YouTube? May I still wake up? I don't know. That was, a nine, that was in 2000, probably not. Mm, yeah. So anywho, that happens. My life flashes before my eyes. I can't breathe. The wind is totally knocked out of me. I'm, I call a timeout from the ground because I'm like, <laughs> and then I realize, oh, Dear God, again, I got to go to the sidelines where Mike Holmgren is foaming mad, bright red, no grace, killing me. I told you. <laughs> so we run two more plays, Lance. We try to run a sprint pass on the third down, and I can't run. And I come to the sideline, and something is wrong with me. I go up the tunnel, and I pee blood. So he dislodged oh, like God. my kidney, bruised my kidney. I go in an ambulance to the hospital in pads. Like, oh, Lord, please save me and let me live. So, yeah. get the So whole... you really thought it was that bad, that dire? I didn't think I was going to die, but it was bad. It was the worst. I, I never want to piss taken. blood. I mean, that's one of those I things. Blood, the catheter, that was another dear God moment. Like, I'm laying there, <laughs> taking my shoulder pads off, pants go down. What is that? Oh, dear God, that goes in. I, I mean, stayed the night in the hospital. It was, it was pretty bad, bro.